What's up, YouTube? Wanted to uh, talk to you guys today about some new features on Tessator Pro. A couple things we've added. One of those things uh, is the swing feature that we've added here and bi triadic hexatonic scales, which we'll get into later. Um, so, first thing we want to do here is just basically look at this swing feature and how it works. So, we've added this little leveler here to allow us varying degrees of, of swing. This will only affect eighth notes or anything that lands directly on the and or directly on the upbeat. So right now I have quarter notes selected. So if I press play, oh, let me turn the swing up first, one second. So I'm gonna turn that all the way up and you won't hear it affect the quarter notes because none of these land on the and. So for it to really, really work, what we need is to have an eighth note rhythm going on, all right? Or anything that lands on the end of a beat. Let's start with an eighth note rhythm. I'm just gonna collect or uh, select whoop, two eighth notes and let's put it somewhere in the middle. And you can hear the swing now. All right, so if I put it all the way up, it's gonna swing even harder. Just place the note with the second eighth note even later. All right, so you can get all different kinds of here's just just like a minor kind of mild swing, kind of even but kind of not really. If you listen real closely, you're probably used to hearing somewhere around here for like a triplet eighth note swing. And you have different tempos, obviously, and this will affect the feel of the swing. Or if I want to make it less obvious at that tempo, which I probably would, it would sound like this. Yeah. All right. And then you have the displacement option, as we've always had. But like I said, this is only going to be if uh, the swing is only going to be affected by uh, eighth notes or eighth note displacement as well. So if I put the displacement here, resting on the downbeat and then coming in on the end, or if I put it here, a one, a two, and three, a four, and a four. All right, slow that down so you can hear. A one, yeah. So you experiment with different types of swing. Uh, varying degrees of that swing and explore what suits your needs uh, best. You can also, like we said, as long as it affects the and, use a rhythm like perhaps, I don't know, this. We'll use a dotted quarter note. Oops, that would have worked, but let's do this. Dotted quarter note, eighth note rhythm. Because this eighth note that we just put over here lands directly on the end of the, of the beat. So this swing feature will affect that eighth note, even though the dotted quarter note doesn't land on the end. I got the displacement on. Let's put it back on the downbeat there. Sorry. All right. Well, let's put let's put the dotted quarter on the end, like we had a second ago. You can hear that. So different combinations as so long as anything that you have in there is either on the downbeat or on the end of the beat, all right? Same thing goes for the displacement, all right? And the swing will affect any of those parameters. So to further illustrate how it will only affect eighth notes or anything that lands on the end of a beat, let's combine two eighth notes with the swing on over here and four sixteenth notes. So you'll hear the two eighth notes swing, but you won't hear the swing affect kick in on any of the 16th notes. So the, the two eighth notes are strong, but the 16th notes are played evenly. Let's go into the other feature we talked about, that, that quite polysyllabic phrase of bi-triadic hexatonic scales. So we'll go here. To our main panel first and we'll click on show only 
bi-triadic hexatonics. So what this is, is basically a six note scale. That's what our hexatonic, uh, our hexa prefix denotes. And using only triads to create these six note scales. So basically I have one triad coupled with another. There could be two major triads, two diminished triads, two augmented triads, two minor triads, or any combinations of these four different types of triads to create a six note scale. So let's load this here first. All right. So as you can see by this insignia here, this is symmetrical, meaning within this six note grouping, I can start on some other notes, not all of them, but some other notes within this six note grouping and get a Messian inverted three truncated Neapolitan second, or another, if I'm looking at this one here, another symmetrical augmented scale with just a different tonic. That is to say, I can get a C symmetrical augmented or an E symmetrical augmented. Something you can't do with, say, like a, a major scale, like C major. I can't start on any other note in C major and get a major scale. I'll get Dorian and Phrygian and all these other types or minor, but I will not get a major scale just by starting on any other note in C major. This is symmetrical in that I can take the three uh, symmetrical augmenteds you can get from this grouping are C, E, and A flat are the three different symmetrical augmented scales you can get from this note grouping down here. The other little icon over here, this triangle superimposed on top of the other triangle, just indicates that these are uh, bi-triadic hexatonics, that these are two triads basically paired together to get this six note grouping down here. So let's go to the info panel with this selected scale. So these six note groupings that you see here, the C, D sharp, E, G, A flat, B, and C, can be achieved uh, by either seeing any of these pairings down here together. So in other words, if I play a G augmented and an E augmented, uh, I'll get the same six notes that you see in this scale. Or if I pair an E major chord with a C minor chord, I'll get the same six notes that we have in this scale. The same goes for A flat and E minor and C and A flat minor. So with the C chord, you see the C, the E, and the G. So with the A flat minor, you have the D sharp or E flat, uh, the A flat, and the B. So what you'll notice about these, these, these triad pairings is there are no common tones. None of the notes in this triad overlap with any of the notes in that triad. And so down here, you can see the functions of these uh, chords within within the context of, of, of the C symmetrical augmented scale. So the, yeah, the augmented five and the augmented three give you C symmetrical augmented. Like I said, we're gonna go further into this and what all this means and how to use it and its function um, in a later video. But just wanted to show you guys this new feature and uh, what it means and, and basically how, how to use it on a, on a basic fundamental level. It's really cool. I think you're going to like it. So if we click here, as it's showing us only by triadic hexatonics and, and just sources, there are 25 uh, separate sources of this scale. And then from those 25 sources, we can get various uh, different modes. So if I click on all, just, just to show you, there's 140 different combinations from those 25 sources. So you can see it's it can be overwhelming, but we just want to see them as triads with other triads. That's about as fundamental and basic as, as I can say. And if you think of it like that, it's not, it's not too intimidating, hopefully. So that's all for today. Uh, hope, hope that made some sense to you. Uh, please keep the questions, comments, and suggestions coming uh, so we can address them and answer any of the questions you may have to make uh, the usage of Testatura Pro as easy and pleasing and fun as possible. Thanks for watching.